What's going on, YouTube? This is your friendly neighborhood DraftKings Attic, bringing my top picks for Monday's main NBA DFS slate. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get, get everything out the way. Let's go ahead and uh, drop that like for me real quick. It really helps out the channel. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. And as always, guys, please drop your comments below. I love all the interaction in the comments that I'm seeing on the videos. Uh, keep it coming, guys. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Today, on Monday, we have a main slate of eight whole games. All righty. And I think there are some great matchups today, too, as well, guys. So um, I think I'm going to go a little bit heavier on my lineup today because uh, I really like some of the uh, the games that are on this slate. So let's go ahead and drop jump on into it. So Draft Dashboard, guys, 30-day trial. Link is in the description of the video for $1. So you can try out this software for 30 days for one whole dollar. All righty. So position optimizers is where we're going to start off at. So at point guard, first but not. Least is going to be our guy, Russell Westbrook. To play Westbrook or not, I'm going to have a little bit of Westbrook. The guy's 11.2K, been shooting the ball terribly the last few games, and he is at home versus Chicago with a 13-point expectation of them beating Chicago by 13 points. On paper, Westbrook should have the game of his life. As you can see, his history versus his team is 72, 45, 54, 52, and 56. Of course, I'm hoping for one of those 72, right? A 30-point 30 tri triple-double. But um, I will have a little bit of Westbrook, man. Not a whole hell of a lot, but I will have some Westbrook, man. That's too good of a matchup. And Westbrook cannot continue to play this bad for this long. Like, come on, man. He got to find that shot eventually. All right, James Harden. I'm going to play him just because. Uh, Utah is a team that people shy away from because of their pace and then their, uh, you know, their quote-unquote defense. But James Harden has been playing out of his mind, 85 and 68 in the last two games. And guess what? Chris Paul was playing. So, you know, a lot of times we avoid um, James Harden because Chris Paul is on the court. But, hey, clearly it's not stopping Harden. He's playing like a man out of his mind, and he's at home in a matchup versus Utah. Houston needs the Ws. They're a five-point favorite. Give me some James Harden at under eleven thousand dollars, ten point nine k. I will have some James Harden, Ben Simmons. Now this right here is strictly just a matchup. Eight point nine k is a little pricey, but Ben Simmons is at threat of getting a triple double every night because he does so much for this Philly team, passing, rebounding, assisting, blocking shots. He does a little bit of everything, man, and he has a high usage too, man. It says twenty one percent here, but every time you know, it seems like he always has the ball in his hands. So um, I do like Simmons again. If you look at San Antonio on the other side of the ball. Who's going to stop Simmons, man? White? Forbes? Come on, man. All right, so this is just a nice matchup for Simmons, in my opinion, man. If you look at his history versus San Antonio, 44 and 42 in the last two matchups. Um, but again, I do like him in this matchup, so give me him at 8.9K. In that same price range, you got Dame Leonard at home going up against the Clippers. Oh, no, he's on the road. And it's only a two-point game, guys. Only two-point difference in this game. Give me some Dame Litter to 8.8K. He missed the last game because of uh, some kind of personal matter. But he's going to be at this game. Give me some Dame Litter at 8.8K. Again, on the Clipper side, who's going to stop Dame, man? So, if you can see the last five games, he averages somewhere around 44 DraftKings points versus this team. And as we know, Dame Litter has some nice upside. And 8.8K, to me, he's too cheap to pass. I will have some shares of Dame Litter on this slate. Devin Booker, he's back and healthy. Seems to be okay with his whole groin issue. He played 35 minutes, put up 48 DraftKings points in this last game. So, he's somebody that we definitely going to have in our player pool. All right, Devin Booker's another guy, man, that could go off and put up 100 DraftKings points and he gets a nice matchup versus New York. So, definitely want to have some, uh, some Booker. Conley versus Golden State at $8,000. Um... No, I pass. Eric Bledsoe. Now, this guy, he burnt me last time. Um, Middleton and the other guy was out, Brogdon. And, uh, of course, Giannis took all the, all, all the points when it comes to fantasy goodness. But on this slate, if those two guys are out again, I'm going back to the well on Bledsoe versus Detroit, who has a terrible front court, a.k.a. I mean, uh, back court, right? That's the guy's uh, point guard, shooting guard. This guy should be able to eat. If you look at the last four games that they played, 37, 44, 35, and 45. And this guy's 7.6K. All righty. 
playing on the road, I believe, against Detroit. Yep, four point over and under. The difference in the in the, uh, in the two teams scoring. So I like Bledsoe at seven point six k, man. I'm going back to the well there, man. De'Aaron Fox has been playing well as well. 49 and 46 in his last two games. He's at, uh, let me see, they're at Minnesota or is he? Yeah, they're at Minnesota. So eight point difference in this game. 233 points going to be scored between the two teams, which is a pretty nice over and under. And to be honest, this is one of my favorite games on the slate. All righty. But De'Aaron Fox usage is at 29% and 30% in the last two games. This guy's getting it done at 7.3K. I definitely like his chances of meeting that value there. So I will have some De'Aaron Fox. He's not my favorite point guard on the slate, but I do like him. He's like my third favorite. All right, next up, Donovan Mitchell. Again, that Houston matchup. Um, Donovan Mitchell plays a lot of minutes, gets a lot of usage. And versus Houston, if you look at his history versus them, he does well more times than not. He has 55, 44, and 47 when he's doing good, and 15 and 13 when he's not. So the question is, which one are we going to get today? But... In GPPs and tournaments, I do like Donovan Mitchell because this guy could go off for 50 DraftKings points versus Houston. All right, Houston's defense is not, not a defense that you have to be scared of. So they give up points. So give me some Donovan Mitchell. d Rose come off the bench, 6.3K versus Sacramento in one of the highest over-under games on the slate. Um, playing 30 minutes on average for the last three games. I like d Rose at 6.3K. Give me some of that. All righty, Moutier. Had a nice game, put up 53 two games ago and 30 in the last game that he played. Gets a nice matchup versus Phoenix, but his price is up because of that to 6K. And at that price range, I think I'm going to go other other places, even though he has a nice matchup versus Phoenix. All righty, but um, right now I don't love Moutier, but as you can see, playing 30, 40, and 30 point, uh, uh, minutes in the last three games. So he's playing a lot of minutes. Uh, so he's definitely somebody that we could, man, now I'm thinking about it, guys, that sounds good. I will have him in a couple of GPP lineups, man, just because I don't think he's going to be that high on at that price. I think people are going to go to other places like Teague, Schroeder, or Rose, um, or some of the value that they have over in uh, Chicago. But uh, I will have some Moutier. I'm going to go and get some of that. Because that game is going to be a nice game. 225, and I believe it's a one-point differential, 1.5% 1 uh, a point differential. So, I definitely like some uh, some Moody. I'm gonna go ahead and give give me some of that. I put him in my player pool. Uh, T.J. McConnell, no thank you. Lena, no thank you. I'm going down a little further. Chris Dunn should get a lot of run. All righty. So right now, let me see just to make sure. Yep, Levine is gonna be out for a little while, guys, with that issue that he's having. So that definitely bumps up people like I don't even. I'm not gonna even try to pronounce his name. This guy right here, the point guard at 4.2k, his price jump. But he should get a lot of running usage. Same thing with uh, Holiday and marketing. So, uh, and then Chris Dunn. Why doesn't he have Chris Dunn as the projected starter? I don't know. But Chris Dunn should be a projected starter, guys. So, um, give me some Chris Dunn on this slate, man. 6.2K. His price jumped up, too. Rightfully so. Uh, it's a tough matchup versus OKC. They're a 13-point underdog right now. All righty. So, Chris Dunn. Definitely somebody at 6.2K. Should get all the minutes he can handle. And, um, you know, could pay off value at 6.2K. So I will have some Chris Dunn just because they don't have anybody else on that team. Um, so he should get a lot of run. Same thing with marketing. And this uh, guy right here, Arce, Dion Cole, no, what, however you say his name. All right, he's 4.2K. He put up 32 DraftKings points last game. I won't have a lot of this guy, but definitely somebody that you could consider because, again, he's going to play all the minutes he can handle because they don't have a lot of options at that uh, position. So next up. It's going to be our shooting guard. Shooting guard, guys, some of the same plays are going to be on this uh, this particular position. Um, but throw in Tim Hardaway Jr. I like him at 6.6 gay. This guy's playing 30-plus minutes, uh, somewhere around 25% usage, and he's chunking up a lot of shots, man. And, again, this guy has been having a hard time shooting the ball lately too. But if his shot gets going versus Phoenix, he can put up 45, 50 DraftKings points. And at 6.6K, I do like me some Tim Hardaway Jr., so I will have him in my player pool. Um, Buddy Hill again, um, Sacramento, Minnesota game. I'm loving this matchup. He's playing 31-plus minutes in the last three games, averaging somewhere around 32 DraftKings points with a little bit of upside there as well when it comes to uh, Buddy Hill. All right, so give me some Buddy Hill at 6.2K. Uh, Wiggins, again, I love, love, love this matchup. 
the Sacramento Minnesota game. Wiggins at 6.2K playing over 30 minutes a, a game, averaging somewhere around 28 DraftKings points. Um, is definitely somebody I'm considering at 6.2K, man. He's just in too good of a matchup um, right now. Bo, there you go again, guys. Bogdanovich, again, I'm loving this game. 5.8K, the guy seems too cheap for this matchup. What more can I say? He's averaging somewhere around 31 DraftKings points versus the team, and he's getting more run with some of the injuries they have to people like Bagley and some of the other players on Sacramento, right? Schumpner is a game-time decision, so if he's out, that could mean more run as well. So uh, give me some... Um, some Bogdanovich. Like I said, I love that Minnesota Sacramento game. Schroeder, just, just sign me up, man. 5.6K. The guy's coming off two stinkers of a game at 17 and 15. But as you can see, the three games before that, he should go at 34 or more. He gets a nice matchup versus Chicago. Underman team. 13 point favorite, which means he could get some extra run while the starters sit. 5.6K. Dennis Schroeder for me is close to a lock on this late. Just to be honest. So, um, next up, we already talked about Chris Dunn. We already talked about oh, well, Avery Bradley. He could be a GPP flyer. Guys, 3.7K last two games, scored 24 and 27. Should get a lot of run versus Portland. 3.7K. I'll take a couple of shots from him, so I have him in my player pool too, guys. So, next up is going to be our small forward spot. Now, my favorite player on the small forward spot is going to be Ben Simmons at the moment. All right, you got Giannis at the top. If those two guys are ruled out, Giannis is somebody that could possibly um, be considered. But at 11.3K, I'd just rather pay for uh, Harden or, or Westbrook, to be honest. Giannis, you know, do you think he's really going to put up 77 versus Detroit? All righty. If you look at his history versus Detroit, 48, 49, 43, and 34. So I'm personally not on Giannis, but let me know if you are. Kevin Durant in that slow game versus Memphis, 210 over and under. Uh, not enough upside for me. Uh, no, thank you. Paul George, blowout potential. I'm going to avoid him at this moment, but I do like some value plays when it comes to OKC because, again, they're 13-point favorite, man, so they, they're probably going to blow this team out. But let me go ahead and get, get some of the other guys at, at a, a greater value. So TJ Warren at 6.7K I do like in this uh, Phoenix versus New York game, 222 point over and under. All right, this guy's playing 35, 32 minutes in the last two games putting up around 39 to 34 DraftKings points. So give me some of that T.J. Warren. Even though we saw um, Devin Booker come back, he still put up 34 DraftKings points. So give me some of him. He's going to be able to rebound and assist and do some other things. So he should be okay for 6.7K. Gallinari, give me some of that one. Again, this Portland versus uh, Clippers game is another game that I like. And Gallinari at 6.6K seems too cheap. Um, again, if you look at his uh, history, he's scoring 38. 28, 27, 28, 37 in the last two games versus Portland. And again, he's getting high minutes. So give me some um some Gallinari. Again, he's a big that they need as well because they're a little, 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 little slim when it comes to their bigs, right? Yep, there you go. So we got a couple of guys that are out. So definitely give me some uh some Galley. We already talked about Wiggins, Buddy Hills. Kevin Knox is uh, you know, getting a lot of minutes. He's a starter now. 5.7K gets a nice matchup versus Phoenix. Um, I'm taking a couple of shots with him at 5.7K. So, guys taking a ton of shots, playing a ton of minutes. 45, I'm going to 42, 35, and 32 minutes in the last three games. So, give me some Kevin Knox in this Phoenix game. And, again, it's a close game. And I believe, yeah, 1.5 over and under. Uh, give me some of that. Robert Covington um, is back. 5.2K. Again, I like the Sacramento game. He can get. Quite a few rebounds, assists, maybe a couple of steals in this matchup. All right, and at 5.2K, I do like Robert Covington. Again, I love this Minnesota-Sacramento game. It's kind of scary how much I love it, actually. So, <laughs> um, Bejalika, again, should be in play with Bagley out. He's getting extended run. As you see, the last game he put up, uh, he played 34 minutes and put up 40 DraftKings points. Alrighty, I'm expecting a little bit of the same from this game. Again, the last time they played Minnesota, this guy put up 41 DraftKings points, guys. And this time he's starting. So, give me some Bejalika with Bagley out. Show up. Let me make sure Bejalika is starting. Yeah, he's starting. So, yeah, give me that. Give me that. So, um, next up, Tobias Harris, man. Just go ahead and play this guy. He's been playing like crap lately, too. Not His shooting percentage is down. A couple other uh, factors that are keeping him from really showing his potential when it comes to fantasy. 
Um, but give me some Tobias Harris, some of the injuries that they have in L.A. Um, I believe Lou Williams is still out. Yep. And just, I look at that. Just got everybody in their mom out. So you got Gallinari, Avery Bradley, Tobias Harris, Gortat, and Giglio. So whatever how you say his name. So long story short, Tobias Harris is going to be called upon to carry this team, man. And at 7.2K, I can't pass him versus Portland, man. And that he has a nice history versus them, too. You see, he put up 54 the last time these teams met. So, give me some Tobias Harris. Like I said, keep an eye out on the news. Chris Middleton could possibly miss this contest. So, let's go ahead and look at it. It says uh, he sprained his right finger, but it's not expected to impede his status on Monday's game. So, we'll see. Keep an eye out on that news, guys. Um, but I like, I, I like, I like, I like, um, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Uh, what else we got? That's it, guys, for small four. Sorry, guys. Drop a comment below, guys. Let me know who you like at small four. I'm going to be honest. That was my toughest position to pick today with small four. So let me know who you like. Next up, power four, guys. You got a lot of great options here, man. You got Blake Griffin at the top going up against Milwaukee. All right, a 225 point over and under. This guy has 60 point upside. Uh, at 9K, who's going to stop him on that team, man? Matter of fact, who's going to hold him? Let's go back to Minnesota. Not Minnesota, I'm sorry. Milwaukee. Yeah, man, who's going to stop Blake Griffin? What, Giannis? I respect Giannis and all, but Blake Griffin is a beast, man. All right, so um, 9K, though, I don't think I'm going to be able to pay up for him. Man. I just like too many guys that are the better value. So um, we got uh, Jaron Jackson Jr. I'm going to have a couple of shares in him. At 5.9K versus Golden State, I don't think a lot of people are going to play him because this guy tends to get into foul trouble. But he has some some decent upside at 6K, man. You know, um, 5.9K, I'll take a shot at him. Against Golden State, maybe he gets some extra run. Um, I believe there are some issues, too. I think they have a couple of injuries in Memphis, too. Yep. Anderson may be out. So, yeah, um, 11-point blowout projected. He can get some extra run, maybe. Let, let, let the rook get some extra run. So um I I have a couple of shares of Jan Jackson Jr. Noah Noah Vonley, let me get some of him. 5.5K. This guy's playing around 30, 30 minutes in the last couple of games. 30 and 41 in the last two games. And he's 5.5K. This guy can definitely get us a nice quick double double at 5.5K. So I will have a good amount of Noah Vonley, man. Him and Cantor, to be honest. Versus this Phoenix team. It should be should be a nice, nice day for these guys. Um, next up, Jerry and Grant, Jeremy Grant again, blowout potential there in Chicago. Give me some Jer Jeremy Grant at 4.5K. All right, this guy could put up 35, 40 DraftKings points off the off the bench, man, uh, in this matchup if he if it gets out of hand real early. So give me some uh, Jeremy Grant. Next up, um, we already talked about Tobias Harris and now marketing again with the uh, injuries in Chicago. Marketing should get all of run he can uh, handle. And he's going to be shooting the ball, so that shot is dropping. I like him to pay off that, that uh, price tag at 6.5K. If you look at the last three matchups versus this team, he scored 45, 34, and 30. So he has a definitely has a positive history versus this team. And at 6.5K, I know it's a 13-point over and under. I'm going to go with me some marketing. Anyway, so next up, last but not least, the center spot. So at the top of the pack, guys, for me, my favorite sin on this slate is going to be Carl Anthony Towns versus Sacramento, man. I got to do it, man. Look at it. 46, 67, 60, 57, and 70 the last five times he's faced this team. He's averaging 58 DraftKings points versus Sacramento. I mean versus uh, Minnesota. Oh, yeah, Sacramento. My bad. <laughs> what is going on today? Uh, but long story short, man, get, get you some Carl Anthony Towns, man. He's pretty much a lock for me. All right, you got Joel and B versus San Antonio. Who knows which San Antonio team is going to show up if this game is going to be even competitive. Let's see what the over and under is for that game. Oh, it hadn't came out yet, so it's still to be determined. But um, definitely Embiid is always in play at 10.6K, but I'd rather take the discount of $600 and give me some Quarthony Towns who can have similar upside as Embiid, especially versus the Sacramento team, man. So give me a whole bunch of Carl Anthony Towns. Drummond versus Milwaukee, eh, I don't love it. No, thank you. Aldridge, you can't trust him. I got lucky last last time he played. He put up 50 DraftKings points for me, but I don't trust him versus Embiid and his Philly team. That team is too good, in my opinion, for, for San Antonio. But we'll see how Greg Popovich uh, attacks it. Uh, Nurkic, 
versus um the Clippers. Give me some Nurkic, man. Again, the Clippers are hurting when it comes to their bigs. You know, um, they got Gortat starting at their center. You know, but uh, Nurkic should be able to eat here, man. And at 7.5K, all righty. Look at it. Look at his history versus the team, guys. 22, 34, 53, 42, and 45. So, I do like Nurkic in this spot, even at 7.5K. All right. Steven Adams, again, blowout game versus Chicago. But he could get a lot of rebounds and some blocks and stuff like that uh, before he decides, you know, they decide to bench him. Um, because they're blowing out Chicago, or the game could stay competitive, and he does a great job and gets a nice, nice double double. But I will have some Stephen Adams at 6.9k. I don't think that's too too pricey for for this matchup, guys. Look, just look at it, man. All fire and green everywhere, man. So, in his canter, last game he played, played 35 minutes, put up 38 DraftKings points. He seems to be getting decent minutes lately um, in New York. So at 6.7k, going up against Phoenix. Give me some Ennis Cantor, guys. 6.7K. He's too cheap, in my opinion, for that matchup. So we already talked about those other guys there. As a value play or a value punt, I'm going to have some Norleans, Nerlens Noel. All right, at 3.3K. Again, Chicago is projected to lose this game by over 13 draft. I mean, 13 points. And at 3.3K, Norleans Noel could get some extra run, come out and put up 33 DraftKings points like he did three games ago. And at 3.3K, that would be great. So, I will have Nerlens Noel on my uh, on my radar when it comes to you know some um, roster fillers when it comes to uh, value. So, all right, guys. So, if you're new to the channel, Draft Dashboard is a tool that you can use to build lineups. And so, as you can see, I have my player pool. So, if I go over to the lineup optimizer and click on it. We can have Draft Dashboard optimize your lineup. And so, as you can see, it built me a lineup. It spent all the five thousand dollars worth of salary. But if there's some plays that you don't like, like for instance, let's say we don't like Nicolina or whatever his name is, all right, when it comes to that that guy at 3.6K. So maybe, well, what I would do is I would take Rushbrook down here and change him to Nerlens Noel. Remember, he's only 3K. I like him in that matchup. So uh, let me find him. So I would change that to Nerlens Noel. Um, and then I would go up there and put Russell Westbrook at the top in my point guard. So, um I'm not going to do it, guys. But, yeah, so let's say, we, let's, let's say pretend that's Nerlens Noel, and you could put Russell Westbrook right here, and then all you have to do is just go ahead and uh, save your lineup once you're done. So, where my man at? Nerlens Noel, 3.2K, where you at? All righty, guys. So, ooh, ding. So, you guys get the point, right? So, uh, once you do that, save your lineup right here, and you can go over here to your save lineups, and it'll show your save lineups. It actually shows you projected uh fantasy points as well and if you're really interested in building uh a lot of lineups what you can do is you can go ahead and use this uh mass lineup generator click on that and once you do that you can tell it how many lineups you want set the uh how far within the maximum salary you want it what kind of randomness you want and how many unique players and so forth and then generate you 20 or more lineups so um all right guys so good luck on today's slate there's a lot of news that uh could come out guys so keep an eye on it it could change some of the plays, but for the most part, I'm pretty confident in my picks right now. Um, but go ahead and check me out on Twitter. All right, at DK underscore Attic is my uh, screen name. So go ahead and give me a follow. Um, if I have any ideas that I want to update, I will tweet them out on there. Um, so, all right, so good luck. So here you go. So you see it uh, generated me 20 lineups. So you can click on see your lineups. And there you go. 20 lineups signed, sealed, and delivered. 258. That's nice. Ooh, got some nice looking lineups here, guys. So, um, again, go ahead and try it out, guys. Good for DraftKings and FanDuel. So, thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next slate. Peace.